Hello, Mark Rosfield here. We're talking dispersion today. A little lesson about um, dispersion and how you hit your shots and how to maybe play simpler golf with some simpler ideas rather than trying to hit every position God ever asks you to hit in a, in a golf swing. Um, so we're going to talk dispersion. We've got GC2 on the floor, got my iPad and some balls. I'm just going to show you a little drill that I do with some of my students just to explain to them how they could be play better players. They just rethink a few basic truths. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, so we're talking dispersion. So dispersion, there's a dispersion of some balls there. They've just been put down on the floor. They've dispersed into a position. Something, a kind of real buzzword at the moment in golf, obviously with launch monitors and what have you, collecting data on dispersions and spin rates and la di da di da di da right? What happens when people come for lessons with me, and I've been doing this quite a lot with people recently in lessons, and it's, when I do it, I often think, oh, they're not even gonna think this is a lesson, is it? I almost feel like they're gonna want more. But then when you explain it to them, they love it. They love the simplicity of it and the fact that they actually were very close to it in good shots if they just rethink some basic things. So people come for lessons and I get them to hit some shots, say five shots, 10 shots, 15, 20 shots, whatever it takes to see a pattern of shots. Because I often ask them what their good or bad shot is and they can't answer, you know, why are you here? What do you want to improve? I want to improve my driver. And I get them to hit 10 with their driver. Fine, there's a few issues, but it looks okay maybe. And then I get them to hit 10 with a medium iron and now I can see some bigger issues. And I think, well, look, your medium iron on that test is showing up. You know, you hit one out of bounds and nine good drives where you didn't hit the green once with your medium iron. Um, so you can drop your two shots off your 15 handicap with your one out of bounds, but you're not going to pick any shots up in irons like that. So it means that people often can't read their dispersion where a launch monitor just shows you it up really obviously. Look, I'm going to hit uh, a series of shots with a certain dispersion that you all understand and see a lot, and I see it a lot in lessons. I'm gonna try and hit some shots with a pretty straight path, but I'm gonna leave my face open to that path, and I'm gonna send them off, cutting off to the right, which is, say, the most common bad shot that I see people complaining about and doing. Let's just hit some. Okay, one more. So we've got five shots, and I'm just losing these Apart from one, I think, off to the right. So not bad hits, but cutting off to the right. So let's look at the dispersion of those shots. Um, so if we go into my app here, uh, where are you gone? Okay, here we go. So if we look at the dispersion of the ones I've entitled right, seven black. Now we're using the range balls here, so ignore the distances, but just to give you an idea of dispersion. What you're gonna notice, I started every one of those balls, bar one, straight, so horizontal launch, straight to even to the right. Now I'm moving the ball left to the right in the air. I aimed straight and tried to deliver my face open to my path. I knew what I was doing to cut them off to the right. And as you can see, with nearly every flight bar one, I cut the ball off to the right. So I've missed target to the right, averaging seven offline plus. So I've gone four right, nine right, two left, 13 right, five right. Now, if I'm gonna hit those balls off to the right like that, um, consistently like that, I've got two options. I can try and not hit them off to the right like that. But what I'll often do with players is I'll say, hit five more, don't change anything, but let's have you aiming five yards left. Let's move that dispersion. So let's, we can't move the target, so let's move you, and you just make the same swing, but I want you seeing the ball starting up the right. So what actually you're gonna do is you're gonna play into your strengths more rather than try and fight them. So if I hit five more here, and this time I'm gonna start with my face pointing left, and my feet further left. So I'm gonna make sure the ball starts left but get the same kind of um, curvature in the air. So I'm gonna make the same swing but I'm just moving everything more to the left. So it's five shots. Let's look at the numbers on those ones. 
So here we go, guys. Let's look at the green ones now. What you're going to see is I've got the same shape of shot. So the shot is exactly the same. I've just turned everything left. So I've turned my face close to the target, so left of the target, feet further left. I, in my theory, have swung pretty much line of my feet. Um, and I've done everything the same as I did here, but turned it all around the left. I've tried to start the ball up the left to allow for that curvature to come back. And what you'll see is if you look at my offline distances now, they're much closer. So averaging five left rather than seven right. Um, I've got one at 14 left, but then the others are all very, very close. Apart from one nine left, one 14 left, and three very, very close. You'll see if there was a green there, I've got four on the green, one missing with exactly the same shot, but just starting out the left, where if I play my normal shot, aiming at the target, uh, I've got four to the right, so I've got kind of two definitely off the green, maybe three. So I'm kind of uh, one off the green or two off the green if I do it the other way. So simply by changing the way I start ball and aim is making me a better player. You guys are often in a big kind of, always trying to fix your bad shot. Now if you're bad shot, so the shot off to the right is consistent, the dispersion is the same most times, then you simply want to just drop a flag in amongst that space. If I disperse these balls here on the ground, there we go, so I've dispersed them left, right, short and long, I want the pin to be there because I'm going to catch three, maybe four of them. I don't want the pin there and I don't want the pin here because I'm getting one there. So I'm moving my target, which obviously you can't do, so I'm moving my aim to work into my dispersion. Now, if you've got some decent data with your dispersion, which again is why I hark on the importance of having lessons with some real data, um, you can improve your golf simply by just starting the ball in a different direction. You don't have to hit any different positions. You are, most people I teach hit a consistent shot. Now, I knew I was going to fade those balls, so to me, aiming straight, knowing the ball is going to move left to right in the air, just seems ridiculous. And when I say that to you now, it probably sounds ridiculous. Yeah, if the ball is going to move left to right in the air, why would you aim straight? The amount of people I teach to say, what ball, what shot do you want to hit? Or oh, I want to hit a draw, or I want to hit a fade. Okay, that's fine. Hit some shots, and they don't hit their target. They, they spin it off their target. They curve the ball off their target. And I say, where are you aiming? And they say, oh, I'm aiming straight, aiming at the target. Well, anyone who shapes the ball is not aiming at the target. If they are aiming at the target, they're not delivering to those targets. If they functionally hit the shape shot onto the target, like if they're a good player, they probably do. If you want to shape the ball, you have to be aiming for that shape. And that means face. You can't have your face at the target at delivery and hit any shape. If your face is zero to your target line when you hit the ball and you're centered strike, we're talking here, um, and your path is anything different to that, you're going to be shaping it offline. And it always frustrates me, there was commentators at the weekend on the Opens talking about, oh, that, is, that face was perfectly square to the target line for a long time. I think one of them said when Garcia was hitting like a 15-yard draw into a par three, that face wasn't square to that target line when he struck that ball at all because the ball started right and curved back. The ball's gonna start around 80% where the face points. Lots of you are getting that now and understanding that. Now, you need to hit a series of shots, get on a decent launch monitor, see where your dispersion is, drop that dispersion there, drop that flag there, which means for you, it might mean actually aiming around. Now, if you disperse left and right inconsistently, yeah, lessons and fixing positions might help you, but for lots of people at the moment, it's a case of just getting them to aim differently aim for their dispersion, aim for their shape. And like I say, it feels like a cheap lesson. It feels like I'm just saying aim left and cut it back to target, which is basically what I am saying. But when you show them the data, it makes so much sense to them where they've been spending years thinking you've got to aim at target and make the perfect swing to play this game. Absolutely not true. Rory hitting a draw, he's not aiming at a target. He's, if he's going to start the ball down the right, he is going to make sure that face is delivered to the right. If he can't articulate that, he is physically doing that if he knows it or if he isn't um hope that helps let me know what you think post the comments down below i'm a pretty zero zero golfer i don't shape the ball much at all um i have little shapes from now and then where my path just differs from my face and i played them so i've played a lot in portugal at the start of the year i was drawing my irons a bit too much so i consciously made sure i started my face pointing more to the right so when i hit my draw the ball started out there and came back rather than just aiming at the flag 
and then getting the face close to the path all the time, which I felt I wasn't, and the ball just spinning off and missing the greens on the left. Play to your dispersion, guys, you'll play better. You might not even have to make a swing change, you might just aim change, and you'll be hitting more greens. Hit more greens, hold a few more putts, you'll have lower scores. Thanks for watching, post comments, love to hear, and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.